Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Jay Norville, the head football coach at Colorado State, he couldn't help himself. He couldn't help himself. He had to go out there and say something about Deion Sanders. And now it might get his team beat by 50. Let's talk about it after the bumper. Stay tuned. is going on everybody what is going on everybody my name is jeff lightsey jr this is the victor formation sports show right here on jeff lightsey jr youtube facebook wherever you get your content do me a favor hit that thumbs up button like share subscribe and the notification bell because i upload all the time now <laughs> colorado plays another game this week they're gonna play against colorado state it was pretty much a lackluster you know type of i, I say lackluster because it's a team that you know colorado state I don't know how good they are. They got beat up on their first game of the season. But it was a game people really weren't paying a ton of attention to as far as the actual game besides the hype that is being built by Colorado. Now, everybody in the world, every major outlet, we talked about that earlier this week, every major outlet in the country will be in Boulder this weekend because they want to feel a part of what's taking place there in Colorado. Like, they want to be there. Big noon kickoff, first take, Pat McAfee, uh, College game day, 60 minutes. Everybody's going to be there. Everybody named Mama. But the actual game, nobody was actually talking about the game. <laughs> they were talking about everything else surrounding the game, everything else that leads up to the game. Until now. <laughs> now we have, because everybody assumed that Colorado would just beat up on Colorado State. and But now we actually have a vested interest in the game. And that is thanks to the head football coach of Colorado State. He goes by the name of Jay Norville. And I'm going to just play it. I mean, this is what he had to say. He was on his coach's radio show, and this is what he had to say about Deion Sanders. So here is what Jay Norville, the head football coach at Colorado State, is what he had to say about the leader of the Colorado Buffaloes, Coach Prime Deion Sanders. And I sat down with ESPN today, and I don't care if they hear it in Boulder. I told them I took my hat off and I took my glasses off, and I said, when I talk to grownups, I take my hat and my glasses off. That's what my mother taught me. So... <laughs> When I talk to grown-ups, almost like that's what my mother taught me. That's what I do. Let's take a listen one because this is a short clip. Let's listen to it one more time. And I sat down with the ESPN today, and I don't care if they hear it in Boulder. I told them I took my hat off and I took my glasses off, and I said, when I talk to grown-ups, I take my hat and my glasses off. That's what my mother taught me. <laughs> so I said it on ESPN today. <laughs> <laughs> When I talk to grown-ups, because that's what my mother taught me. I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. Now, obviously, the good folks over at Colorado have heard this. This was Coach Prime's response. Hold on. This was, this was his response to Coach Norville, Jay Norville, or Norville, or whatever his name is. That's what he had to say. This was the response. Yes, sir. I'm out of my own business watching some film, trying to get ready, trying to get out of here and be the best coach I could be. And I look up and I read some bull junk that they said about us. Talk to us. Once again. Uh, talk to us. Why would you want to talk about us when we don't talk about nobody? All we do is go out here, work our butts off, and do our job on Saturday. Yes, but when they give us ammunition, they yeah, unmet Brown and made it what? Yeah. It was just gonna be a good game. And made this shit perfect. They unmet Brown and made it personal. Now it's it was gonna be a great test, a battle of Colorado, but they unmet Brown and made it personal. So I mean, yeah, man. Like, yeah, this is this is. Like, this is a team that's going to use anything for fuel. This is a coach that's going to use anything for fuel. This is what they do. Like, this is literally what they live for. And up until this point, Colorado State hadn't given them any ammunition. You know, they had the silent ammunition that nobody knew about until after the game with TCU and Kendall Browse and the Shador thing. And we found that out later. And then we had the Matt Rule comments throughout the offseason. I, I, you know, I've talked about that throughout the summer. And they use that as fuel. 
And now they didn't have, they really didn't have nothing for this game. Like, honestly, they had nothing for this game at all. But the fact that they just had to put on a show because the whole world will be watching because big noon kickoff, 60 minutes, you know, they're shooting a documentary, obviously first take, Pat McAfee, all of that. So they didn't have nothing until now. And if, if Coach Prime saying it enough, wasn't enough to let you know that they've heard it. This was Shiloh on the Pat McAfee show. I'm going to make it short, and I'll probably pause it throughout because, you know, I don't want to get a copyright strike. You know, it's fair use, fair use YouTube. But this is what he had to say about what the CIA, you know, Colorado State coach had to say. Week, the uh, TCU offensive coordinator the first week, and then this week the Colorado State coach says, you know what? I would like them to be pissed at us about something too, and goes and talks shit on your dad in a How little. How do they do that? I don't yeah, know. Talking about that, yeah. I, they, they just make it worse. I know, Shiloh. I know. I, I, I love that he. I love that they are just so open and honest. Why did they do that? They just make it worse. I mean, they was probably gonna beat Colorado State by about thirty points anyway. Like it wasn't like they weren't gonna beat them by thirty points. But the fact that you do it now, they really want to beat you, and they want to embarrass you, and they want to run up the score. Let's keep listening. I don't understand it either. We are very confused by it. <laughs> that is something you obviously all know about and are uh, very aware of whenever it happens. I, I don't get why. We was actually just talking about that. Um, some of the receivers and my dad was over there, and I overheard them talking about that. And I was like, what did he say? And they told me. I was like, bro, why do they do this to themselves every week? Because <laughs> Brown's Cause Brown a cool guy. Like You don't have to <laughs> be like that. You yeah, know? I agree. We all agree. I mean, come on, bro. Like, why do they do that to themselves every week? Yo, that is hilarious. That's a hilarious line. Like, the thing is, they still have to go out there and play the game. Like, both teams have to go out there and play the game. Colorado State's got a team over there. And you got a player from Colorado's like, they do that to themselves every week. Like, and we about to beat the hell out of y'all. And we was going to do it anyway, but now we're going to beat the hell out of y'all and rub your face in it. Colorado State got to take this as disrespect. If I'm them, y'all got to take this as disrespect. Y'all got to stand 10 toes down behind your coach. Now, I don't know how well that's going to end, and I'm going to tell you why. But, you know, let's keep listening to Shiloh. <laughs> hey, go ahead, AJ. Hey, I'm curious. When things like that happen, does he even have to bring it up to you guys, or do you guys bring like you guys come to him and let him know, hey, we got you. Like, don't don't worry about this. We got your back. Oh, buddy. Sure, he We're froze pretty up to second. date on, like, uh, that type of stuff. Like our our YouTube recommendations always has this is always has different interviews <laughs> pop up, like for other teams. So the algorithm at Google is helping you guys get motivated. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you, Google. <laughs> yeah, shout out. Thank you, Google. Yeah, keep. But it's, it's crazy though. I don't know why why you get so much hate. You know, like that is actually hilarious. The fact that the algorithm at Google helps them out. <laughs> like, and then there was one last video I wanted to show because it kind of just shows. You know, once again, how they're using this as motivation, how they're using this uh, to to fire themselves up. And the thing about Colorado State, I mean, more more than anything, you don't have a Shadour Sanders on your roster. You don't have a Travis Hunter on your roster. So it's one thing to like go into the game like, you know, if you're USC, you could say something like this. If you're Oregon, maybe you could say something like this. Colorado State, you can't say stuff like this. Because the this team, specifically this team, not maybe not every team in the country, but specifically this team is going to take it and run. They're going to take it and freaking run. And it's going to be on every social media platform, every high major platform, cable news network, everywhere. They're going to run with this. This is the, the hottest college brand in college football. And so all of these videos are everywhere. This is what Kyle, this is what they said at practice today. What the shit? Hey, listen to me. We in the wild. If a bear's in the wilderness and they step in a bear trap, what are they willing to do to get out of that bear trap? They fuck the leg off. Shoot it. Let go. Uh -huh. We keep getting disrespected. Our leader keep getting disrespected online. We got to make this shit right. Uh -huh. You ain't going to come in my house. You ain't going to come in my hood, Travis J. Right. You're not going to come in my hood okay. and disrespect my home. Right. Right. You're not going to disrespect okay. our leader. Right. Okay. We run with our fire. 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 Hey, they might hang a thousand of them. They might hang a thousand of them. <laughs> we ran with our fire.
We riding with our fire, G. Hey, G, that's tough. I can't even lie. I played football for a long time. I love the game of football. I still get hype listening to pregame speeches and stuff and, and hearing stuff like that. We riding with our fire might be one of the hardest things out, G. I can't even fake the funk. That's tough. <laughs> that is tough. I mean, I don't know, Mr. Norville. I don't, I don't, maybe you know something about your team that we don't know. Maybe you know something about your team. Cause I had a, cause I, you know, I'm a, I mean, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I hadn't seen, I don't know what, how good Colorado State is. I had no idea like what they've done this season on the football field. So I had to like, how did, you know, how did they do in the first two weeks? Well, they, they played week one. Uh, and then they had a bye week. So they didn't play last week, but they did play week one. So they played Washington State. It was a ranked team. They uh out of the Pac-12 as well and run and also runs an air raid offense. And I had to see, like, how did they fare in their first game, like in any of their games? Because maybe their team is pretty good. And maybe Coach Norvell feels this confident about, about his squad. So I had to go look up what they did against Washington State, another team that likes to throw the ball around the field. Washington State's quarterback is named Cameron Ward. Cameron Ward is not considered a top 10 pick in this year's draft like Shador Sanders, but he's a pretty good player. This is what Cameron Ward did against Colorado State. <laughs> Mr. Cameron Ward threw 37 of 49, 450 yards, and three touchdowns. Washington State as a team beat Colorado State 50 to 24. <laughs> and Cameron Ward threw for 450. He threw for 450. Washington State as a team threw for 467 or 66. Shadur Sanders might throw for 600 yards. <laughs> this is not hyperbole. This is facts. Shadur, after looking at this, Shadur might throw for 600 yards. After hearing what they said, looking at what Cameron Ward, Cameron Ward had a hell of a day because he ran for another 40 yards in, in a touchdown. Shadur Sanders looking at just this. No, I don't have to look at no other stat. I didn't have to look at nothing else. This right here. Combined with what their coach said, combined with the fact that they take everything personal out, up there in Boulder, he might throw for 600 yards. He threw for 510 against TCU. The only thing that would stop – and see, the thing is, I say oh, he might not throw for 600 yards because uh, they'll pull their starters if they're up big. No. See, Prime at Jackson State showed us he will be petty. He will leave starters in the entire game just to run up the score, like in them old BCS days. You remember back when BCS football, when you had to run up the score because you had to score a bunch of points because there was no playoffs, so to show that you was better somehow, some way, you have to hang half a hundred or beat a team by 60 points just to say, you know, to, to make it look good in the computers. Yeah, Prime be playing like the computers still pick who goes to the playoff. <laughs> Prime still pick, he plays like the computers pick who's going to play in the championship games. And they might score. He Shadur might throw for 600 yards. Really throw for 600 yards if Cameron Ward threw for 450. And, and that's just a fact. So Colorado State got beat in their one game they played 50 to 24. And that was with a team that, you know, didn't have no kind of motivation, no nothing. It was just a game on their schedule. It could get really ugly in boulder on saturday it's a late kickoff so you guys stay up real real late to catch that game it kicks off at 10 p.m eastern but it is going to be a party at boulder on the field and and with the students i mean this stuff just keeps getting crazy so you know how i said college game day and big noon kickoff will both be there this will be the third straight game big noon kickoff is doing a colorado game and so to make sure because college game day is the premier pre-game show but to make sure people tune in and people are engaged with the big noon kickoff set, they're bringing in the heavy hitters. They're bringing in Lil Wayne and Gronk. This is the best pregame party in college football just got even better. Lil Wayne will now be joining Rob Gronkowski. Big noon kickoff pregame party live this Saturday at 7 a.m. <laughs> they're trying to have the kids turn at 7 a.m. But they're also trying to compete with college game day. Who's going to bring their own hell of a crowd. So why not call in the heavy hitters? You know, Lil Wayne loves him some Fox and Skip Bayless and Coach Prime. 
Gronk is always going to be turned. Yeah, Coach Norville, you should have just left this one alone, G. You should have just left this one alone. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, my name is Jeff Lighty Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lighty Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you get your content. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at jlighty7. That is on Instagram and Twitter at jlighty7. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.